Jeremy Corbyn arriving for the debate first, but behind in the opinion polls, cheered by supporters, but clearly keen for the chance to win over more voters. Boris Johnson, incumbent Prime Minister and being predicted to win, means he has everything to lose. Question, Our voting system, our political history, both mean it's extremely likely that call. one of these two one men will be Prime Minister this day. time next we'll week. It was Brexit that dominated the early exchanges, prompting the first clash over Labour's plan to negotiate a new Brexit deal and have a second referendum. We get a deal in order to ensure that whatever the outcome of final vote, the trade relationship continues with Europe. If you go down the road, it'll take seven years to negotiate a trade deal with the USA. You're going to have queues all up the M20 in Kent. You're going to have a problem of supply chain to all of our manufacturing industries. You're going to have job losses on a huge scale. Nonsense, unless he says. Unless, have, nonsense. unless you have a serious deal with the EU to maintain that trade well, relationship. We have a deal. It's a wonderful deal. We're coming out on January the 31st if we can get a working majority and I'm afraid listening to Mr Corbyn it's, it's absolutely clear that uh, what would happen next year is it would be a period of negotiation about this mystery deal led by somebody in the Labour Party uh, that was, we can't yet identify since it, Mr Corbyn doesn't believe in the deal uh, himself. It would then be put to another referendum to the people of this country. Next, the NHS and a student nurse had a question. How would you deal with a shortage of nurses and ensure the NHS can retain them. Crucially, we will fund the NHS properly. £40 billion in total will go into the NHS in order to fund it properly. And that has to be done. The Prime Minister, the day after he was appointed, announced there was going to be 40 new hospitals. Yes. A week later, that became 20. No, a bit later no, on, no. it became six new hospitals. He seems to have a problem with the figures. Boris Johnson rejected Jeremy Corbyn's claim that he's made throughout the campaign that the NHS would be up for sale. I have to say, this is pure uh, Bermuda Triangle stuff. We've heard it time and time again uh, from the Labour Party during this election campaign. Uh, you know, we'll be hearing about Little Green Men next. Uh, uh, what I will say is that we will invest massively in the NHS. This is a, a new government. It's a very ambitious government. I want to see more funding going into our public services. We're levelling up funding of education in schools around the country. 20,000 more police, but we can only do that by having a strong economy. And the only way, I mean, you're not going to like this, Nick, but the only way we can have a strong economy is if we move this country forward and get Brexit done. If you Think end up with a privatised service, that's what you get. If you end up with that US trade deal, that is what you get. Now, the Prime Minister says he's not going to do that sort of a trade deal. If that's the case, why did the talks go on for two years? It doesn't take two years to say no to privatisation of the NHS. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. But where would the money come from, they were asked. We have to redress the imbalances within our society. Somebody on and our, oh, the and our tax proposals for corporation tax would be to raise it to 26% at the, uh, the end of the first period of that Labour government, which would actually be lower than it was in 2010, lower than it is in France, lower than it is in the USA. Labour always ends their time in office with an economic crisis. Corbyn and McDonnell, Corbyn and McDonnell would start their time in office with an economic crisis. In every debate during this election, the issue at the heart of the campaign has come up. Trust. News, what punishment do you think is appropriate for elected politicians who lie during political campaigns? Well, they should, they should, be, they should be made to go on their knees uh, to down the through the Chamber of the House of Commons, scourging themselves with copies of their, of their offending documents which claim to prove uh, one thing and actually prove uh, something quite different. You could hear the groan from the audience. They put forward a policy of what they're going to do, they put forward a policy of how they're going to pay for it, and if they don't deliver, then there is a democratic process to deal with that in the future. That is what democracy is about. It's about holding people to account. And both men will be held to account next week. Tonight, they faced each other for the last time in a TV studio. On Thursday, they'll face the verdict of the people. Angus Walker, News at 10.